Welcome to the Nerdia Medicare Portal Part B Recoupment Request Tutorial. The information given in this training is correct at the time of this recording. The most current information contained in this presentation can be found on the Noridian website. To begin a recoupment request, a claim status inquiry must be performed first to find the claim you are wishing to reopen or correct. If you are new to the portal and need instructions on how to perform a claim status inquiry, please view the claim status inquiry tutorial first. Once you have found the claim you are wanting to initiate the recoupment on, choose View Claim. To initiate the request, choose Self-Service Reopening under the Related Inquiry section. On Step 1, the first question that is asked will determine if a self-service reopening or a recoupment request will be completed. Is this an overpayment refund? If yes, then a recoupment request can be completed and you can continue on with the following steps. If no, then you will choose to modify or reprocess the claim. If this is your situation, please view the self-service reopenings for Part B users tutorial. Two more questions will then be asked. Do you have a corporate integrity agreement with the OIG? And have you received notification that this claim is under review by an external auditor? If yes is answered to both questions, the recoupment request will then be initiated. Next, you will select the adjustment type or types that will be performed from the drop down menu. Please note if build an error is selected, an additional drop down menu will be provided to choose the build an error reason code. Then choose the claim line or lines the adjustments will apply to and choose next. On step two, all of the fields that are able to be adjusted are opened to make corrections. Make the changes that are needed and then choose next. Step three provides the user with updated claim lines based on the changes made on step two. Review the changes, select the checkbox to verify the changes are accurate, and choose Confirm Changes. Step four provides the confirmation ID number. This indicates the reopening was submitted and will be processed. Thank you for completing this tutorial.